Why are you so much taller than me? I mean, I know I moved the camera around, but... You're slouching. <laughs> Push your hair down. No. Well, grow your hair. Look what I found at Walmart today. It's this cereal everybody's been talking about. This is Delicious Wonderworks Keto-Friendly Cereal. family. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So everybody has been talking about this new yes. cereal, delicious Wonderworks Keto Friendly Cereal. I'm gonna say right off the bat, this packaging is like on point. It is super cute. I think it's funny that they've worked in delicious right into the title. It's like calling your child doctor, making that the first name. I'm just, I'm in love delicious. with this packaging. It reminds me of Kix. Remember when a kid like this big star on it? I don't know, I just really like this. So I got this in Walmart. I think there's a few different flavors. They had two flavors, so I picked them up both. We've got chocolate and I think you've got cinnamon. cinnamon. Okay, so we're gonna review this. A lot of people are raving about it. Okay. Uh, I've got my reservations. Number one, because this is coming from a major food company, General Mills. That's who right. makes this. They but, used to make my, all my old cereal so before. We, we gotta eat cereal two ways. Cause number one, you gotta eat it like as a snack. Okay. And then I do have a couple of bowls over here that we can try it with a little bit of milk. So which one are we going with first? Um, Probably cinnamon. Cinnamon? Like, yeah, for a while cinnamon was my jam. Like cinnamon toast crunch? Yeah, let's see if it smells cinnamony. It does smell cinnamony. Almost like vanilla cinnamon. Right? It kind of sm smells like, um, I don't want to say cinnamon toast crunch, like no. cinnamon Cheerios, the apple yeah. cinnamon Cheerios. Are you ready? Yes. Mm. So it's got like a churro flavor, but a little bit. It's got a very flat aftertaste. Are you getting that? I'm getting like nothing uh, in the middle. Like a pro, like the old protein puffs from Shrewd Foods before that they started having it permeate the entire protein puff. But the texture is better than a lot of the protein puff cereals. It's crunchy. It's crunchy, but I feel but like it doesn't have that that cut your mouth like texture. Definitely, the flavoring is on the outside. Yeah. Let's check out chocolate, and okay. then we'll put them in a bowl of milk. There's not a ton of flavor. Not with that one anyway. I'm, I'm a little disappointed because everyone's like, they're super flavorful. Okay, that smells like Cocoa Puffs. That smells very chocolatey. Hmm. It's not bad. It's almost like an, un it, it, you know what it tastes like? A very mildly sweetened cocoa powder. But it's got that texture. It's like a powdered texture. The consistency is almost like they convinced a bunch of like pork rind crumbs to like go together or bread crumbs to get together. It's like crunchy, but like. Okay, here's what I want you to do. Density. I want you to put one piece in your mouth, bite it, and then kind of suck. And I do think it's got the, it's got a really good texture compared to almost all the other keto friendly cereals. I do think it's got a better texture. I think the chocolate's got a better flavor than the cinnamon. The chocolate definitely has more of a flavor. Let's go, let's go in a bowl. So I know we have to do five things, but I just wanna look. So a serving size is one cup. So show me what a cup of cereal so looks like. So we're gonna go with a cup of cereal as the dog is just walking back and forth, but don't say her name. I know because she'll just jump right up here. Uh-oh, oh. Uh -oh. Now I got distracted. you're pouring it like I would I'm pour it. I'm pouring it too much. Like okay. whoops. Well, it's in there now, right? Well, no, we, we can't do that. Okay, so 
We're going to have that. And okay. let me grab my phone here. So that's a bowl. And that's a pretty decent serving size. Yeah. I, I'm going to give them that. I think that's a little bit bigger serving size than some of the other companies. Okay, you ready? Yeah. So we'll go with, you know what, before we do that, because we don't want to get this wet, and then put the chocolate in. Let, let's do a serving of the chocolate. Okay, so here's a good test. So which one are we going to try first? I want to end on the chocolate because okay, so I wasn't a huge fan. I'm going to do a half a cup of milk. Okay. Roughly. But we're going to let the chocolate one, oh, I guess we have to kind of go a full cup to really get the... You got to give the whole... The whole experience. But let it sit but for a But we're going to let this sit and see, does it get mushy? Right. Like Frosted Flakes. Okay. And we are using the Silk Unsweetened Vanilla. So... Which, how many total carbs are in we the vanilla We can't get the cereal almond? yet. No, not in the cereal, but I just want to know about the almond milk. One, okay, one total carb, less than one fiber. So it's probably about a half of net carb, but okay. I always one count total. it as one. Okay. Okay, well, what am I doing? Okay, you ready? Yes. Let's get it all nice and wet. I, I'm really impressed by the serving size here. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. There's like no taste. It is like a very lightly sweetened, lightly flavored styrofoam. Yes, because it's like crunchy, but it's like a churro took a bath in this earlier, but not like. I'm, I'm disappointed. Like way earlier. Everyone's like the cinnamon is the best one. Oh and, no, I hope not. And and what's going to happen is I don't feel like there's a lot of flavor. So as it sits in this milk, I mean, now normally I would eat cereal like one piece at a time as like a movie snack. The milk is not turning. It's not like that. It's not like there's so much flavor on the outside of this that the milk is getting the flavoring and you can enjoy the milk. Not into the cinnamon. No. Not into the cinnamon. Okay. Ugh. So here, let's let's get all the chocolate because here was the thing when you ate chocolate cereal, like whether it be like cocoa puffs. It's not a Are good you sign. For cocoa puffs. Are you cuckoo for cocoa puffs? Or even like the the chocolate Flintstones, the pebbles. The fact that the milk is not turning colors. Well, is it's not getting a, a little chocolate. It's not a good thing. The only problem is, is it kind of started off with that finally weird almond milk color, right? Yeah. No. It waters it. If you're going to eat it. Eat it as a snack. No milk. The milk kind of takes away from it. Oh my gosh. No. The milk takes away from it. No. Okay. Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Okay, so we're gonna start off with number one, the ingredients. So the ingredients in this are milk protein concentrate, erythritol, allulose, whey protein isolate, inulin, Palm kernel oil, cocoa processed with alkali, palm oil, soluble corn fiber, uh -oh. canola oil, rice starch, natural flavor, soy lecithin, salt, stevia extract, vitamin E, which has then been added to retain freshness. So, so here, it's a bit of a science project. I mean, well, I'm going to give them like a five. A one to ten, a five on the ingredients. Here's my thing. There's erythritol, allulose, and stevia in this. And it's not very sweet. It is not sweet hardly at all. I, like, I'm just not finding it sweet. Maybe no. it's my taste buds, but I'm used to like things like where I say it's sweet and Rachel's like, no, it's not. And I'm just if not finding not, it super sweet. If he's not finding it sweet, then there's something wrong. Okay, let's move on to number two. Because the ingredients to me are so-so. They started off really good. Right. And then they kind of got bad at the end. Like, the soluble corn fiber, okay. I don't know what they're using it for. It's obviously not sweetness. No. Um... I don't know why we're using canola oil, but other than that, those are the two ingredients that are kind of suspect. The rest, it's not super bad, actually. I'm pretty impressed as it's a General Mills product. So number two. You're expecting the worst. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? All right, so there's 150 calories in a cup of this. Okay. Six grams of fat, 15 grams of protein, 17 total carbohydrates. Chocolate's got 16. All right, so there's five fiber and four. five sugar alcohol. So you're still looking at four net carbs. 
but 17 total carbohydrates for a cup. Okay, so this one is not listing any sugar alcohol, which is kind of weird. Well, they're saying three on this, so there must be some allulose math that are somewhere that's taking off an additional carb. So this one says carb. three net carbs, but this is not listing. Oh, okay. So here's why. So looking at the chocolate, we're going to have to read the chocolate because it's very different. 150 calories, 6 grams of fat, 15 grams of protein, 16 total carbohydrates, 4 grams of dietary fiber, and then they're saying there's 4 grams of soluble fiber. And then I'm looking for the allulose because nowhere on here... Okay, so down here on the back... Oh, okay. It says... Total fat and saturated fat content, and then you have three net carbs equals 16 total carbs minus four fiber minus five sugar alcohol minus four allulose. But again, this label is not listing any sugar alcohol, which is very, very weird that it, I don't know if it's a misprint on the box or what, because they're saying on the back five grams of sugar alcohol. So it's three net carbs per serving. Right. Okay. Um, I'm, the, the total carbs are kind of high for me. Okay. We'll move on. Number three, how do they taste? Average at best. Not great. Just not great. Not sweet. The crunchiness is like, okay, but it's weird. It's a strange crunchy to me. You liked the crunch, but I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to go. So first, taste. And I, I'm going to have to do this. I, I try not to do this when we talk about other products, but you're going to have to when we, when we review a product. Taste-wise, compared to Cereal School, Cereal School wins. Yeah, way better, more um, flavor. Taste compared to Catalina Crunch, which we the don't buy because it's a better, because that's more of a science project. Um, I almost feel like they're equal. Like, I don't find Catalina Crunch to have a ton of flavor. But the crunch is better. Um, it's super crunchy. It's yeah. almost too crunchy for me because it doesn't get soggy. It doesn't. It um, <laughs> doesn't move. Taste compared to Magic Spoon, Magic Spoon wins. So on taste, yeah. to me, this is on the bottom, okay? I guess you could get it easily, though. Yeah, so texture-wise, I actually like the texture of this a little bit better than Cereal School slash Schoolyard Snacks because I love those. That's our favorite. But that kind of can like actually bite into your mouth. It's a little bit crunchier, whereas this is like a soft slash crunchy puff. Those are much crunchier. Like when you cut it open, you can see little ridges, whereas yeah. this is a little bit more on a, a styrofoam crunchy. So You like that styrofoam crunch. Cereal-wise, like if you're looking at texture cereal-wise, I like this better than the mat than, than the cereal school really okay but i love the taste of cereal school more than this so it's what's better to you texture or taste crunch number four how much do they cost okay i paid seven dollars a box wow seven dollars a box so here's the thing i want it to taste good if i'm gonna pay seven dollars a box okay but okay seven servings so seven one, servings so it's a dollar serving okay. now so it's easy to get, okay, which because you can go to Walmart and get it, and it's a dollar a serving, which does put it cheaper than the other companies, right? Yeah. Because all the other companies come in somewhere around a dollar forty a serving for right. the other keto friendly products. My feeling is, I feel like it should be cheaper because it's being put out by General Mills, who has the ability to get ingredients in bulk. I Does that make saying. sense? So like Cereal School and and Magic Spoon and Catalina Crunch, they're smaller companies. They're not nearly as big as General Mills, which means they've got to pay more money for their ingredients. So they should be more money. Here, we're looking at this company is General Mills. They're only charging a little bit less than those other companies and they're not using nearly as good of quality ingredients as the other companies. So when you look at General Mills Plus, the ingredients aren't nearly as good as the other companies. This should be five bucks a box. Well, they're capitalizing on the fact that you're expecting to pay a lot of money. This they're is what they're capitalizing on. Yeah. Keto. Yeah. They're expecting that you're used to paying seven or eight or ten dollars for a box of cereal. So why not throw a ten dollar box of cereal from their direction? Well, let's move on to number five because that's where we're at. Number five. Would we recommend it? And here's what I'm going to say. Yeah, they're capitalizing on keto. 
I would be much happier if they took the word keto off of this. Yeah. Keep the same exact product Say sugar -free on the market. Cereal. Take the word keto off because I think I feel like they're charging a dollar or two dollars a box for the name keto. Whereas yeah. I I know people say that about other companies. I don't feel that about other companies. They're using much better quality ingredients. For example, you know, Magic Spoon is using avocado oil. They're using canola oil. Well, of yeah. course, avocado oil is gonna cost more money than canola oil. All right, so here's my take, and I didn't even talk to you about this first, but I wrote myself a little note because- Without trying it? Without- Well, can I can I say what I recommend this first? Yes, time? go for okay. it. Okay, so what I recommend this, if you don't mind a little bit of a science project, then the ingredients aren't super bad. I would say this, everybody reacts differently to soluble corn fiber, so definitely test your glucose. Maybe we'll do a glucose test on these. Um, so I would test your glucose. I would, if it's, if you don't, if you want to go to Walmart and get something, go ahead and buy it. Here's my issue. I have a hard time supporting a major company that is simply trying to capitalize on keto and they're, they're not giving you a great keto ingredient product. So I have a hard time with that. I would absolutely recommend this for your kids because okay. it's only a couple dollars more a box than regular cereal because Captain Crunch is like $5 a box when you go to the grocery store now. So I would recommend, I get, I applaud General Mills for coming out with something that we could feed to our kids without it being $10 to $12 a box, but charge $5 a box. Okay. Does that make sense? It does. Okay, but overall, I'm not gonna eat it anymore. So my, my stance is number one, for 2021, I'm not settling, okay? I will wait until something really tasty comes in the mail or comes to the store. Mm -hmm. So that's number one. Mm -hmm. But before we even tried this, I did look at the box to see what was the total carbs because we happen to follow a total carb protocol. I know everybody doesn't. Thanks for bringing it up because I forgot to. But I have to think about it for me because that's what I'm going into this review. Rachel, would you eat this, right? So I wrote down what are you looking for, Rachel? You're looking for something crunchy and you're looking for something sweet. That's why I'm picking this up. For breakfast, lunch, or dinner, I'm wanting something crunchy or sweet. Would I reach for this, okay? I have to ask myself, and this is gonna be about all of the products, what else could I get that would be crunchy and sweet for 17 total carbs? I need to ask myself that because that way I can really decide do I want one cup of this cereal or do I possibly want a sweetened cup of coffee using like stevia in my mm. coffee and either three and a half cups of crunchy broccoli or a hundred pieces of moon cheese for 17 total carbs. That's a great point. I ha could have that or I could have a scoop of keto chow in a glass of almond milk because I'm having like an almond milk you know, and use it as a drink, and 128 slices of pepperoni in my air fryer. That's a great point. I mean, I could get something crunchy and sweet for and that much. Now, am I going to eat 128 pieces of pepperoni? Probably not. I mean, I, I'd like to try it, but it's like I need to decide, like, is this really what I want or are there actual art alternatives for me to eat something else? So when yeah. I want something crunchy and sweet, I need to think about it from different aspects and not just, this is all we've got, this is what you get. That's a great point. Because here's the thing, we don't eat cereal like as a bowl of cereal anymore. We used to before keto, obviously, but yeah. we did it like, you know, pour the whole box in a bowl and eat it. And I can't do so that So when we eat cereal, we literally eat it as a snack. Like, hey, I want a little something as I'm watching TV like right after our meal, like that's our dessert, or we put it on top of ice cream as like our ice cream topper. And our preferred cereal is um, Schoolyard Snacks slash Cereal School. I know they, they changed their name. And the biggest reason is because of everything you just said, and those come in at four total, total carbohydrates. Yes. And that's a big difference. Now we don't really get Magic Spoon because I prefer the taste of Cereal yeah. School, but the thing I really like about Cereal School is it's bagged in individual bags, so I don't overdo it. That's a huge deal for me. Even Magic Spoon, 
they come in at just 10 total carbs. So once again, we're back to a lot more carbs, not as good of ingredients, Slow and you're serving. only saving about 25 to 35 cents per serving. So for me, it's a big no and being on keto. Now let us know down in the comment section if you've tried this cereal. Let us know if you like the flavors and let us know if you're gonna continue to buy it, especially when you start thinking about all the points that Rachel brought up. Now if you like seeing videos like this, we have an entire playlist which I'm gonna link right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.